Yeah. Makes you wonder. Hello, people, and welcome to a 4 versus 4 RT. This is one of those games where you want only one acolyte building from your necropolis, otherwise you can't build the crypt. Past that point, I will say that this is going to be one of those games where you are, well, I am going to do one of the most, well, the most overpowered strategy in 4 versus 4 RT. And it is called Undead Imbalance. So what you need for Undead Imbalance is you need Death Knight, Lich, and maybe you want to get a third hero. It's up to you. You don't have to have one. It's, it's really your choice. And, um, you know, past that point you go Fiends, then you go Frostworms, and then you win. So... A lot of you are like, oh, but well, that's standard. That's standard. That's not too interesting. Believe me, it's interesting and fun to watch. And you will agree with me in about 10 minutes or so time. When you see me pretty much obliterate everything and everyone with relative ease. Playing as that good old undead. Yes. Can't beat the undead. It's where it's at. So we're going to be going to crypts, the crypts. Probably didn't need that second burrow. Uh, I almost got a burrow. I did call it a burrow. Never mind. Fiend will just have to be slightly delayed. Otherwise, that's fine. That's how it rolls. Boom. Okay, so DK, fiends, shop, graveyard. So you're going to get your skeleton rod. You're going to use those skeletons. You're going to build up your fiends and you're going to kill pretty much everything, creeps and players alike, with virtually no effort. And of course, if you want to make sure they're definitely going to die, then you can always throw in a coil or a nova as well. You might think that I sound a little bitter. Well, the truth is I am. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of bitter about undead spoiling the game. Okay, it looks like I'm going to get a bit of fed, so you're really going to get some undead imbalance. Jeez, this is going to be that undead imbalance indeed. A fed undead, that is a very common strategy to see in the higher leagues of play, because everyone knows how ridiculously strong undead are. I'm going to get an acolyte out, because I'll probably be able to get an expansion as well. I'm going to want a Shredder too. I'm getting a little bit fed, but you can never be too sure. This guy seems pretty good at feeding, but sometimes you can never be too sure how good the person is going to be feeding you. If they stop feeding you, then you're screwed if you didn't get yourself a Shredder. I'm going to tech up now, and I'm going to just get another Skeleton, pull back these creeps, get an expansion running, ticking whilst the tech's going off as well, because we want to get those Frost Worms. We want as much Undead Imbalance as possible. Those Centaur Impalers are pretty nasty. So we can deal with those. That'd be nice. This is where I need to ask for woods. He doesn't like orange much. I can understand that. If that's the map hacks. Steal the items. Pull these creeps back if we can. Don't block it, per uh, pink rather. Let them come. Let them come. It's time for a shredder soon. Although I'm going to need... I'd almost want to lose a fiend. Just so I can definitely get one. Oh look at this undead. Just so easy. So easy. Don't even have to try. You may as well take that, because I've taken enough. I'm going to leave it. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I'm not going to leave it forever. 
Let's keep rolling out with this undead imbalance. Tech shouldn't be too far away, so I can get a lich and then probably tech up again because... You see what I mean? Like, he's stopped feeding. I don't know whether he's forgotten or anything like that, but you can't always take it for too... can't take it too much for granted. These are quite nasty, so we'll go for the big boy, because I think he does the most damage. There we go. There's the tech. Get more acolytes to fill into that. Oh, good. And get Shredder now. Hang on a second. Pull back. Yeah, he knows what to do. Acolyte. What's it going to be? <laughs> it's not going to be anything just yet because you've got to wait for him. Hello, Scout. I saw that. Ah, in comes the stomp. Stomp, really stomp. Ooh, he's a stomper. But he's going to go down. You can have that. I don't care. Let's pick up some stuff. Tech up again. We can get the web as well. So we can pull back and kill the dragon. This is just all undead. They're just so freaking versatile. With like almost no effort. Because fiends just cover so much. They really do. Oh, look, some more resources coming in now. Can't be too sure. Well, a little less than 15 seconds, but yeah, you know. Beautiful! Just look at the imbalance! This is so nice! Get ready to catch him again, and he's not going anywhere. Coil up that Death Knight, and boom, he's back to full health. That's a lot of tanking for you. Uh, you'll be back. I'm sure you'll be back. Meanwhile, we'll just kill all of that. And we'll get that going. And we'll get the upgrades flowing. Oh, hello. Who's back? Look who's back. <laughs> I think they've lost already. Believe me, they've lost. You're not going to beat this undead imbalance. Oh, the Lich is taking it. He's got it, baby. I would go for the other expansion, but it's not that necessary. Going to have the upgrades. Got the tech. Just got to worry about my base getting destroyed from behind. Otherwise, it's still pretty good. Hello. What can we pull back here? Death Knight's not really going to be killable. Any units? That'll do. Let's get some gargs. Shouldn't throw away your coil too easily, mate. He probably hasn't even got that many coils left, actually. Yeah, he's got one. He's actually got a really good item. If he used that, we'd be pretty screwed. Panda coming in here. He's got, look, he's got Inferno Stone, so if he was willing to use that, he'd be pretty devastating, but it's, well, I wouldn't say it's necessarily too late, but he had a better opportunity to use it earlier, but hey-ho. <sighs> look at this, you know what I mean? I'm not even, I could still be building fiends, but this is the complacency with Undead. You just don't even have to try that hard. It's just so easy. Boom. The game's over before it's even begun. Oh, 
Oh, Fire Lord as well. Yeah, good luck, mate. Seriously, honestly, good luck with Fire Lord. Am I even going to be able to get to Frostworms? Because I don't think I am. Take out that Sig and about one folly of fiends, pretty much. One or two will do it. This is going to go bad for you. Didn't even get to build Frostworms, man. Too easy. Way too easy. Oh well. Let's continue the imbalance. I was tempted to ask for feed, but I'm not going to do that every game. I can show you Undead Imbalance without feed. But if you do get feed, then it's going to be pretty darn ridiculous. Ah, you wouldn't believe it, actually. I got Last Man Standing, which was the map you just saw, basically, twice in a row. So, I got it the first game which you saw, and then I got it again afterwards. And I'm fortunately for my allies, I do apologize, but I left because I was like, I'm not playing that map again. I need something different. Market Square is the map for me. So we're going to enjoy this one and show you what Undead can do. More gold is required. Yep, just tell your allies if you're Undead that you're just going in balance and they'll understand. They'll be like, oh, yeah, right, of course, well, <laughs> of course, <laughs> like you were going to do anything else. Let's face it, an undead that doesn't go fiends and frostworms is a very bizarre undead indeed. I'd be most suspicious of said undead. Okay. You think, well, you just got a gut feeling. Well, if you think they're going to rush, you might want to build something. Don't just say, I think they're going to rush. <laughs> Are you guys going to be okay if they do rush? Because I think they're going to rush. They're, yeah, they're definitely going to rush. But I'm just going to just gonna tech. I'll be, I'll be um, there in about five minutes. All right. Come on, Undead Imbalance. DK Fiend on its way. Let's play. Oh, I see. It looks like T C H That's also some good imbalance. That could be orc imbalance. Orc imbalance for four versus four RT at least. Do 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 Should I get an expansion or not? Hmm. Perfectly doable. Not necessary. Frost ones can be powerful because they can fly over the treetops and like the points here, the rocks and such, and attack enemy expansions. They're pretty pretty useful on this map, actually. But fiends do get you by if you can't get to Frostworms. It's not the end of the world if you cannot get to Frostworms. Do not panic. Do not fear. Frostworms will never to be, be here. Hmm. Almost looks like a Russian blue. Well, blue Russian purple with undead imbalance himself. A DK. Not sure how that's going to work out for you. This is good. Get to keep my skeletons. I am going to get one acolyte. There is no shredder on this map though. That's the problem. So, do I just tech up or do I try to go for an expansion? I'm going to try to go for an expansion. I'm going to push my luck a little bit. So we can really get the fiends flowing. And I'm going to get a couple of ghouls to compensate. Because I'm going to need them. Believe me. It's going to be difficult. To get the wood required. It really will be. <laughs> I will need those ghouls for that wood. Otherwise you're just going to have a rough time. Come up. Give me the fishing. It's good for, to go for the little creeps here, actually. As tempting as it is to bring down the big rock golem. Especially for undead, because you can get the uh, skeletons. But the, the creeps here are really annoying anyway, so... You probably want to kill them. As best you can. And uh, the golem can basically be tanked with using the skeletons. 
definitely need one more cigarette, otherwise I won't be able to get the necessary requirement. Now we can move to the... well, actually, yes. Sure. I can help, not a problem. Otherwise, I was going to say, if he didn't say that... Well, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, start going to the middle, because Death Knight and Fiends are pretty strong units anyway, so they can handle it. My tech will be slightly delayed, but I will be stronger for it in the long run. Let's move out. Let's go. Oh, it's so tempting to tech. It really is. But I've got that cigarette up. Cigarette up. So I'm going to throw down a couple of acolytes. Get another fiend to pop over. It's tempting to get backpack, but it's going to slow down my tech. Oh, no, you're Torrent Chieftain. You want that because he's pretty imbalanced. <laughs> you're going to want that. That's a good item for the DH. Would have been a better item for the Tauren Chieftain if he didn't die, but never mind. Sometimes they do that. They just like to die. Alright. Looks like you... I don't know, he wants an expansion? Oh, look. Blue's coming in. Blue's coming in to be annoying. He wants to put a lot of pressure down. As long as Purple can do this. Who's clicking on my Death Knight? I'm going to help Purple because someone clicked on my Death Knight, so that means he might be nearby. And I don't want purple getting ganked and losing everything. We'll both get ganked together and lose everything. How about that? Get the upgrades going. I'm worried about them picking off expansions. Good item. Take it. Put it on your Archmage. Take it. Who's first? See? There you go. There it is. Didn't see that one coming. Be ready to punish this because they're only going to go to my expansion next. We get them trapped in there as well because it's just one. Oh, try to trap him. Try to trap him if you can. <sighs> He's going to have to move his archmage. Sorry, mate. Get your archmage out. I'm moving it. I can see it. Is there going to be a war stomp? Because you might want to do one, but even then it's not going to save you, mate. Oh, Archmage, watch out! <laughs> this is good gruntage, though. I'll take the grunts. Very nice experience. Lots of feed there. What's been going on over here? Action in the middle, but it's still no attention from the enemies, apparently, so far. So pretty good. Get on that renegade wizard. Try to pick up an item. Sorry about that demon hunter. I just wanted to grab it. Greed. Start off the next creep camp. Oh, crown of kings. Good stuff for the uh, Tauren chieftain. I don't need it. Oh, look. Jesus, that was very good. Well done. I didn't see that one coming at all. Very nice. It's alright though. He can't do much more. His damage there is pretty much done. Will you get lost with this lightning shield? I'm gonna come over there and freaking. Oh, Demon Hunter's already on his way. He's TPing out. Can I tech up again in a moment? Should be able to tech up now. Lich has kind of come out. We're going to work on this. We've got enough ghouls for wood. Should be quite good. Survive that. I like that, what that guy did. That was very nice. I didn't really get a message until it was too late. Or at least I don't think so. He's probably going to try it again, and maybe he'll be successful, but at the end of the day, I still get to keep this expansion regardless. It only hurts me a little bit, whereas I think they've, they've been more damaged. Yes, we should gank that, really. And they're TPing out. Over here. 
but it's not good for you. I'll get the r upgrades for fiends. Looks bad for you, that red guy, honestly. Red Orc. Classic Red Orc. He is screwed. Allies aren't coming in. Follies. Get your items, Mr. Lich. It's tempting to almost leave him back just to get the Orb of Corruption, but it's going to take too long for that. Check in every now and then just to see if the Blood Mage pops up. I don't know whether he used invisibility or he just bullsed up, walked in there. I assume he just bullsed up, walked in there. More upgrades. I'll ask for wood now. I'll get greedy. Oh, here comes orange. So he is coming back. This is going to go worse for you than it is for me. <laughs> Not quite what was planned, huh? And now I can get all the corruption. Well, I can in a moment. Well, not quite. I'm going to leave the lich behind. Oh, what the hell? How did that not TP out with the rest of his stuff? He was kind of close. I think he got a little unlucky there. That's pretty harsh. But that will pretty much teach him to try and mess with undead imbalance. Tech's going to be complete soon. Frostworm's on the way. Upgrades coming through. Thank you. I assume someone gave me wood. So I'm just going to say thank you. Lich. Orb of Corruption. May as well get Scroll of Healing as well for the lols. Pop over, get Boots of Speed. I know Death Knight's got it. I could give it to the Lich, but I kind of want them both to have it. Screw it. And this is just GG, really, because we've got full map control. The enemies have basically made too many mistakes, so in all honesty, this game is pretty over. I don't think there's anything they're going to have. Can I get... No, I've got to get a bit closer. You're going to do that to me, are you? There you go. There's one. But that's about it. I might get greedy and get a third... Boneyard, but I don't really need it. I'll hold off on it for the moment because I'm just not going to have enough wood to support it. Try to make sure your fiends don't block each other too much, and your death knight has a path out if they TP, like he just runs straight down. Really, I should be um, standing here so I can run out, but I'm kind of confident, even if they do come in. But I haven't got a TP, so I should be that confident. <laughs> I should be ready to get back, because I am pretty much the only one here. So I, I am taking a huge risk here. Definitely. Are you pinging because someone's coming? Because that looks like a bit of the old map pack to me. Let's check. Right, I'm just going to go straight up into Frostworms, into that upkeep. I don't even care. So I'm going to get away with this. Oh, pee on there. I'm going to see if I can run up, get a TP. Orange hasn't reappeared. Fully under control, to be honest with you. I could TP up there and try to do something, catch some destroyers, that'd be fun. Not much else I can do at this point. He's going to have to TP in a moment. Am I going to get some destroyers? Yes, I am. Let's focus those down. Orb of Corruption. Don't know if there's going to be enough time. We'll get one. That's nice. But I won't get the second one. Let's go back. Get another town portal. More Frostworm. In fact, I can do this red spot very quickly. And I'll level up the Lich as well. This is actually kind of a better idea. I should do this in future. Is actually lead those creeps away. Because they always aggro here anyway. As you can see. Death Knight is miles away. 
get those Frostworms on the Bandit Lord in a moment. Screw him up nicely. I'm going to have no space for items. Well, Death Knight can come back and pick up the Demonic Figurine. Who's under attack? This looks really easy. I can't even pick that up. Because they're just too full. Do I TP to that? Probably yes. Because I think we're fine anyway. It is a bit of a gamble. Definitely a bit of a gamble. Hopefully my allies come in. This is a ripe time for my allies to come in, definitely. Might want to bring my Frostworms along for the ride as well. Try to bring that TC down. Yeah, that was a very risky move from me. Not really necessary, but like I say, I'm getting, I'm getting to that point where I'm getting a bit complacent now, so I can kind of be a little bit cocky and essentially make mistakes and get away with it. Not going to quite break that upkeep. Keep the DK back if I can. Oh, you're going to want to go on that fiend. Oh, Inferno Stone. Thank you and good night. Who wants to get punished? I assume they're doing quite well up here. Yes, they are. Any more upgrades? Hello. Might be able to pick off a shim or two. Yeah, it looks bad. It looks bad, ladies and gentlemen, for them. Not for me. Far be it from me. Imbalance. Frost armor that. Why not? Yeah, not the best game for you, was it? Let's face it. Oh, and now there's Torrent to feed me. This is ridiculous. May as well go into that upkeep now. Oh, you just caught my fiend as I was going to heal it there. No matter. It's alright, don't worry about my fiend, he's fine. He's dead now, so probably a better place for him to be than with the undead army. <sighs> they were capable allies, and we controlled the map there, and even if I wasn't undead, that was pretty much an easy win, but being undead kind of seals the deal. It gives you that kind of... I don't know, it's like a cloak or a shield or somewhat. You can kind of afford to make more mistakes or be a bit more reckless and kind of know you're going to be all right. Okay, this is good. This is good. Got a good map here. Twilight Ruins. Let's go. You're going to see some imbalance. Should I creep? Should I be aggressive? I don't know. I might not even fast expand. I might just expand when I can. Because it holds me back a lot. That's the only problem with Undead. Is getting an expansion does hold you back a little bit more than it does the other races. It's not impossible to do, but it is definitely noticeably um, worse for Undead than it is for the other races. But apart from that, they've got a lot of good things going for them. And it can always be compensated for if um, your allies were willing to drop you a few resources every now and then. 
I've already got an undead near me, so we could get some undead imbalance kicking off soon. Sooner than you think. Ghoul to start us off. I wonder if someone's towering me. I'm just going to scout. I get the feeling they are. I just... I almost want them to be. Just because it would be quite fun. But I... <laughs> the chances of someone doing that are just so slim to none, really. But you might as well check. It is 4 versus 4 RT after all. Nope. Nothing. There is a shredder on this map, so we're going to want that. Because two ghouls are a little sucky. That was always my traditional answer whenever anyone asked me where I was from. Because no one ever says Jamaica. Hmm. That does actually block off grunts and blade masters, I think. But if those ghouls destroy that wood, it won't. But they will do, because the graveyard's right there. I can't control those ghouls forever. Let's see how much damage I can do to the creeps before the Death Knight even comes out. It'll be like nil, basically, because they also um, heal these creeps. But it's just for fun. They're going on the ghouls now, which is fine. Gives me some extra chance to do some extra DPS, actually. It's quite neat. Actually, that works out quite nicely. Get another fiend going. So what's my... Oh, it's a human. I think I might go for aggression this game. Because you can potentially... If, you, if you're picking on someone, the right person, you can potentially get more experience because you get more experience than you from actual killing normal units, normal leveled units, so like a footman's like level 2 or something, compared to killing a level 2 turtle or something. You know, if you're actually killing real units rather than creeps, you get more experience. Creeps give you like... 75% of the experience whereas normal actual live units give you 100% so I might pick on him if I can get another fiend or so I'm tempted to delay my tech and just go heavy on the fiends this game and just show you the fiend micro the imbalance because fiends are good against humans that tower up as well because once you get enough fiends you can just follow that damage into those towers and they can't really do anything about it Replenishment potion, that's pretty nice. Let's pay him a visit. I could actually creep this camp. I'm going to do that just to give me that bit extra strength because undead have the power to do this compared to pretty much any other race. Bring the pain. I can do this very easily. Mass in. More fiends soon. If I... Yeah, this is nice. Claws of Attack plus 9. Death Knight's not exactly the most awesome DPS there is, but I'll still take it. I'll get a tech going off now, and then when the wood comes in, I'll get the rest of those fiends. And hopefully this guy hasn't gone too crazy on the towers. Get him on wood. What have we got? Have we got a nice open free base? I think we do. Oh, yes, we do. This is going to be a lot of experience. Stay on... Try to kill the peasant that comes out of the mine, because you're going to have the most time to have a folly. Oh, this is bad for you. Just as I leveled up there. Kind of saving my coils a little bit. There's nothing you can do here, really. This is just pure imbalance. Which is essentially what I'm going for, is it not? Let's 
Surprised that not well, it's because she's got coils um, healing. But I should still be able to kill her. It's costing me quite a lot here. I'm gonna have to TP out of this. This is unfortunately costing me more than I wanted it to. But I did manage to kill her. And survive with pretty much everything there and force almost all of them to TP. Well, whilst I'm waiting for them to come to my base, I'm going to go and pick on the creeps over here. And because I've got fiends, I can again abuse sort of long range distance attacks. And get free hits, essentially. Just try to take minimal damage if possible. Lich is able to come out now. Get Burrow because I'm going to need that. They're kind of clever. They're going, trying to go for some creep. Some more vulnerable fiends there. There we go. They come into my base. I uh, should probably try and finish this guy off. Get the item and then get back. Scroll of the beast. That'll do. Going to want a dust of appearance as well. In case there's a blade master or something like that. Yeah, back off, please. Little skimped on wood. Just going to keep leveling up. Keep that Death Knight away if possible. Get the Lich closer. The Lich needs to get close enough though. Come on, Lich. Did I hear a ghoul die? Was that one of yours? Okay, I was going to say. Oh, good items. Good DPS for this Lich. Gonna pop over to the shop, gonna creep this spot as well. Death coil shouldn't be able to hit my undead units, so that'll be quite nice. Wait for him to run back, which will be about now. And then get a frost nova, slow him down, get some huge follies with those fiends. It'll be hard for them to resist. I might go for the statue route then, if we're going to do this. Oh, hey, you're coming back to steal my experience, you little sud. I think you are. I'm going to steal a oh, book of the undead. How fitting. Let's see if you've got tier 3. Not yet. I was going to steal that. Little sod. He knows what he's doing. It's hard for you to resist, isn't it? Let's face it. Death Knight, get back. Let's get a little closer before he dies. Oh, crap. He's going to pick up the item. I'm just going to use that Book of the Dead right now. Let's get in there. <laughs> Poor Teal. Naga sea bitch. You ready to die? You really like taking pots. Let's take out these towers so they're not going to annoy me the whole way through. 
And then I'll go in that Naga Sea bitch in a moment. When she makes herself a little bit more vulnerable. Let's back off a little bit here. Get some experience. Am I getting ganked from behind? I am. I haven't got a TP. Classic mistake. Classic witty. Crap. My fault. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Very annoying. I don't seem to have much luck with avoiding the enemy, do I? I suppose that is my fault. Because I am being hyper-aggressive. But still, it would be nice if I could just sort of... Not have to fight two to three people every time. I'll stick to one person at a time. Maybe two. Give me two, but not two in the base as well. It's a bit overkill. Well, I managed to survive fairly well, actually, there. Statue seems to have gone the suicidal route. But that is going to give me the opportunity to pick off a grunt. Because you're going to step too far. Yes, you are. Oh yes, there's some free experience here because undead just don't die, basically. Get those statues going to work. This is too easy. I don't have to do anything. Undead imbalance just carries through. Or can't do much of anything against this. Tier 3 has been achieved. I might actually go for a third hero, but I kind of need to lose something. But I'm not going to lose something deliberately, I guess. I'm just going to kill everything here, as you can see. He lost, like, everything there. That's what happens when you do a one versus one against Undead. Let's get the upgrade. Let's go for more upgrades. Still don't need, need that expansion. Get one more ghoul now for additional wood later on. Oh, hello. It's Naga Sea Bitch. Waiting for the optional Frost Nova. There it is. Why do I always upgrade that after I do it? Uh oh, getting ganked again. See if we can take out the Naga Sea Pitch. That'd be nice before I TP out. Ah, oh, she TPs out as well. I just unborrowed that fiend in time, I think. Still haven't used my scroll of raw. I always call it scroll of raw. <laughs> it's just what I do. Just solid undead imbalance here, pretty much. Carrying me through. I'm going to go pay Teal of Physics in a moment. I've only got a small army, as you can see. Don't really need much. It's just the undead heroes that are going to start getting um, a little carried away. Especially now that I've managed to get Orb of Corruption, which I've been waiting to get for a while. So if I had the expansion, you could have Frostworms like this. But I showed you a different route. I'd say it's been fairly successful, considering I forced many TPs and pretty much kept a lot of the attention off multiple enemies, which is really myself. Oh, hello, towers. Oh, I should have probably coiled that fiend, never mind. Whoops. <laughs> I might get some abominations actually as well. Go that route. Abominations and fiends. That's totally doable. That <laughs> Naga Sea bitch is doing like no damage. Frost armor. Gets another. S no, she doesn't. She's making herself quite vulnerable though. I made myself even more vulnerable, but she is going to go down unless she's got TP. Come on! Yeah, she doesn't TP. Slacker. Let's take care of those knights. Who needs the death knight?
Maybe I do. Uh oh. Here we go. Lich is leveled up very nicely. I thought I was, my Lich was over there actually. That's why I used the uh, invulnerability pot. I was like, oh crap. Must make sure he doesn't die. And it turns out he's actually kind of safe anyway. Yep. Yeah, I think um, I did quite a good job there. I think I bought a lot of time there for my allies. Don't think I had like any help at all, and I was pretty much quite consistently against multiple opponents. And there's my abomination. Where well, there you go. So I got abomination, fiends, and destroyers. Looks pretty nifty. DK is going to be a while though, so I'll wait up for him. There's the GG. Woo! Didn't even need an expansion there. Because I went with a kind of aggressive route, which is doable in 4 versus 4 RT, providing you've got capable allies as well. Otherwise, you're just basically buying time for your allies, and if they're wasting that time, then you're going to lose. But luckily, this time it was worth it because I was forcing a lot of TPs, as I mentioned, and uh, just wasting the enemy's time pretty much quite consistently. So that gave my allies pretty much big advantages when it came to fighting the enemy because they were probably fighting, you know, three versus two in situations a lot. Right, okay, I'm going to go for one more game because I want one game where I just kind of get ridiculous. Maybe try Hero or something like that. It'd be nice if I can get a game that lets me do that. So we'll find out. Okay, we're going to give this a go, but I'm a bit suspicious of AFK both. And Lord Gofarg is just as suspicious. <laughs> We've got Battleground as our map. It's a fairly small uh, map, but hopefully enough things happen in it that there's the potential for, you know, a good time, really. A good time all round. Let's see if we can get that going. If I don't get it this game, then I'll try to do it next game, but I basically want it. Oh good, he is AFK. It's fine, he's AFK. That's not a problem. How could that be a problem? I'm going to try and block my base off here. I'm trying to build. Uh oh, looks like we've got a panicker. It's GG, people. We lose. GG! It's easy. Stay and find out how easy it is. They are actually still in the game, but it it's going to just be a drop of the hat for them to leave. I might take that expansion if uh, no one acts, but then again the enemies are going to be coming right here because um, you don't really want to tell your enemies that, you know, one of your allies is AFK, because generally the enemies are going to be like, alright, yeah, thanks for that free information. Um, I'm not going to give you anything in return, so cheers. I'll take that. See you later. Not smart. Oh, he is there. He's just obviously... Oh, it might be... I wonder if it is a bot that does it. Because why would someone do that? Uh, honestly. that I mean, how do you get that position in again as well? Ah, uh, there we go. He's given up. So, let's try again. Because this is obviously a no-gamer. Well. What do you know? Didn't see that one coming, did you? Okay, Cherryfield. Cool run-ins on the enemy team this time. I bet he's going to regret that decision. Yes, you are. I gladly obey. <laughs> I'm desperately going for this. I will be done. Build where I kind of block my base somehow. I hope it doesn't block out my fiends if it actually works. I've not really tried it very much with Undead. So we've got Undead, Undead, Human, and Night Elf. Where's the Orc? Where's the Orc? Where's Grubby? Where is he? 
I don't see him in this game. It's going to be tricky without him. Got a nice little line here. If I could have a bunch of cigarettes there as well, that'll be quite good for defense in the long run if enemies want to come to my base. I'd say no. Get out of my base. There's the block. That should be a guaranteed block. But if that's not because of the crypt and the altar being next together and not a cigarette in between, I suppose. If you put a cigarette there, it should be enough because that will block off this space here. And that, nothing can get through there, and then nothing can get through that space, because there'll be a big sort of square here, essentially. That's what I'm looking at. That's what we're looking at, people. you got to think big picture here. It's a bit risky to put my shop much further out, but I can have it nicely tucked up here. It'd be lovely if I could actually kill that before I put my shop down, but I can't really. I'll put my shop up there. There we go. I think I might be getting an Arubian Tower. I don't know. I might play it risky because my Arubian Tower isn't even at the back of my base, so screw it. And if this does block how I think it does block, nothing should be able to get to the back of the base. Providing these ghouls don't allow there to be space up here. So that tree there should still act as a blocker, I think. I need to see. Yes, it does. You can see. It's like the red spot there and the red spot there. You can you can spot it. I do like the fiend's philosophy. What's done is done. It's pretty much the same as well. There it is. You know. Well, there it is. It's done. Am I too far to reach? Surely not. Come here. Where do you think you're going? That's a nice purge. Waste a bit of your mana. I'll take that. And there's another purge. Waste some more mana. No lightning shield for Yao. I wonder if Purple's going for an expansion. Can't tell. Doesn't look like he's teching anytime soon. I might take the middle expansion then. I'm going to go for the middle one. I'm taking the risk. Going to go balls out and take the risk. Ooh, it's a risky game I'm playing. Hey! <laughs> Send that acolyte in. Not a bad item. Very nice. Gonna want that cigarette down, otherwise you're gonna have that situation where you've got like one acolyte that's left to be built and you can't build it. And you're like, ah, do I tech or do I just wait for a cigarette to go up? Ah, let's hope that never happens. Actually, I don't need that cigarette to be honest. I have actually got enough acolytes coming, but I guess I'll stay tier one then. I was wrong. I was wrong. This is the part where a map hacker will come from underneath and start attacking that now. That would be like perfect timing. A ridiculously good timing. Put some coils on him. Keep his attention. I think I can get a tech now. Techno, 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 techno.
And then there is Goblin Shredder here potentially if someone doesn't want to take it. Inventory is full, eh? Not anymore. Did he take the shredder? I don't think he did. Not got much left to creep, actually. Might be aggressive. I have got one too many acolytes again. I love doing that. Never mind, you can be a scout or something. That can be your purpose in life. Good aggression here from Yellow. I don't think anyone's going to... It looks like Yellow's pinholed, so he's going to get completely and utterly screwed in that position. Not much he can do about it. Is it time? Shredder, it is. Good, good, good. Don't have to worry about wood, wood, wood. Oh, someone did go for an expansion. Oh, fairly early as well. I'm not going to be able to kill that very easily with just a few fiends. That's a pity. Oh, I at least forced the TP back, so that's nice. And it's not going to get much better for me. Depends who's there. I heard defend, but was that from above? It was cool runnings! Ah! I'm not going to use my rod of necromancy, not with that many freaking... What are you doing? I'm going to get ganked soon, so I've only got a limited time whilst I'm here. I'm running away now. Oh, I'm getting ganked from underneath as well. Screw it. May as well go and kill what I can then. Because I'm just going to get definitely ganked. Time to get back out. There's no way out of that. Oh, tech is done as well. Necropolis still waiting, so I'm just going to tech up again with my resources and then get a lich very shortly afterwards. Come on. There you go. Let's get a scroll of town portal. I'm going to leave these items in base, be a bit risky, and hope that the lich can actually pick them up. It is pretty risky, but it would be nice if it works. Because I don't want to take them with me and drop them at the shop or leave them at the shop or you know what I mean. Or sell them at the shop. They're there for the Lich. They're good items for the Lich. Especially the mantle. So uh, I'll hold on to that. And I guess we're going to go Frostworms because we can well and truly afford it with an expansion. And uh, a Shredder to boot. I'm going to start protecting this nicely. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Good items all round. Don't, well, I suppose I'll use a coil, screw it. I was going to try and hold out. Lich should be out soon. I'm going to come back a little bit with the fiends. Get a boost of speed for the Lich. Lich can pick that up. They spotted my Acolyte. His purpose is done. His life is over. Let's give these items to the Lich. Let's get Burrow, but... I tend to get a little bit lazy with Undead because when I know I'm going for Frostworms and I'm pretty confident I can get to them, I kind of almost stop all upgrades for Fiends, even though it would still be useful. Because I just kind of do that easy mode, laziness thing that a lot of people do in 4 versus 4 RT. Complacency. Creep this out, get the experience, and if I'm forced to TP out, that's fine. Just want to get the experience. Not too bad. I think that can go to the Lich. Tech should be complete in a moment. I will push my luck a little bit further, but it is tempting to go back just for the... Uh, I am actually going to send him back just for the Orb of Corruption, because I want that. And these can be burrowing in the meantime. 
Come back for the Orb of Corruption. Going to get three Frostworms down. And we're going to... I think for the Troller Lols, we're going to get a Pit Lord. It's going to be Pit Lord or Dark Ranger. They're both pretty good third heroes. But Pit Lord possibly more so. Especially in this situation right here. Because it looks like... Why are you fighting outside your base? It's just the logic of some people is just mind blowing. Alright, let's get ready to TPM. I'm full on items, I can't even use them. Gonna have to meet with this pit lord and TPM. Oh, they're TPM back, are they already? Mm. I'll still possibly TPM. Give me something to do for lols. Who's going to get killed? Is it the Keeper of the Grove? Pit Lord's on the wrong side. He wants to be nearest the enemy. Get in there. Pit Lord's probably going to die because I used my coil to kill the Priestess of the Moon. That's a slight mistake, kind of. Not a true mistake because it means that there's a lot of free units here to kill. So I'm actually going to take that sacrifice. The Pit Lord did his job. So I'm grateful for that. Keep up. Get a nice Frost Nova. Keep the Lich and the DK ahead. That's it. Nice, nice. And the Pit Lord will catch up soon enough. I might just hang by the Pool of Mana, actually, because that is quite nice. <laughs> Send you ahead. Pit Lord's back already. Boom. We might even get him an Orb of Corruption. Perfect. Just in time to get an Orb of Corruption. Why not? And Frostworms? Soon? Cool. It's going to be quite beastly. Going to get shade as well. Meet and go, really. I do need a TP. No point in suiciding just yet. Oh, they're coming up top. Oh, hello. That's a lot of bears. Gotta make sure I'm not the only one here, though. So I don't get too killed. Nice. Oh, they did spot it. Oh, they had APs. Wow, they had a lot of APs. I built a necropolis. Oh dear, that's a really bad spot for you to be in, isn't it? If I can get Frostworm on like... Slow down the Keeper of the Grove, so even if he did want to TP out with the archers, he's not going to be able to manage it. But what you do here is, this is your number one thing, you don't see enough people do this, is make sure you're spreading out that frost. You get maximum efficiency with that frost. So that way you're going to get maximum feed from killing the enemy units. Hit as many as you can. And it's just super GG. Oh, they don't like this necropolis, do they? Keep the upgrades going because I've actually been really slack on that. Where are you going? If you're going, looks like you're going up that way, so I could cut some units off. It's quite a lot there. Got to be careful though, a little bit. If my lich was closer, that would have been nice, but it isn't. It's the one unit I actually really want now, or hero. I need web. I ain't got web though. Oh, 
see if we can nuke down that priestess of the moon. We'll just keep the hippos busy. I like Pink's DK, getting right in there. I'm going to have to give him a coil now. And down goes that Priestess of the Moon in a moment. Rape. Just too damn strong. Try heroes going crazy. This is just free experience. More House of Terror in a moment. If I can get him in a slightly better position where that Fiend is. I think that might be enough to reach the archers down here. Yeah, more or less. Not that it's really needed. But this is just utter domination. It's looking good, isn't it? Let's face it. It's looking pretty damn good. Got obsidian statues from a fellow undead player as well. That's very nice. That keeps the mana flowing in. That keeps the spells coming in. That just keeps the devastation flowing. No more wood is required. Told you cool runnings would wish you'd be on my team. <sighs> That'll teach you for leaving. <sighs> well, there it is. Just utter undead devastation there. As well as some very good allies to boot. Very nice. But yeah, this was just well and truly under control for the most part. Very comfortable game. And that's how undead games generally, generally tend to be. Is they are comfortable. You're never really in that much danger as an undead player. Look at the frost imbalance here. Just spreading out those frost worms on each of the buildings so they're completely and utterly nullified. Oh look, even more frost worms coming in. I'm too many hot keyed. I'm gonna lose. There we go, I can fit those in. At the expense of a couple of fiends, maybe missing the mark. I'm gonna howl of terror at those wisps. Roar! Oh, it doesn't even show up on them, because obviously it got no damage, but it doesn't even show up as like a status debuff or something. Curious. Well, they're still in the game for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure why, because uh, it's pretty devastating. I'm not even fully upgraded. Oh, bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Let's get some fiends here for the web. Pull in those hippogriffs. There we go. Bring back the two frost worms that are being focused. Put frost armor on it, coil it, and that's a lot of dead hippos essentially for free, pretty much. And you're going to lose like virtually nothing. It's all good, basically. And he's going for the crit lord, which is not the best idea, because pit lord rather, because I've actually got the ability to heal that bugger. And is he TPing? No, he's just TPing back into his base. Don't even need to use. Uh, Ha uh, Rain of Fire, that's the one I'm after. Is it time for uh, <laughs> Priestess of the Moon to die? Yes, it is. I'm not even going to... Did I get a coil? I just about fitted a coil on that. Wasn't even necessary. Watch these Frost Worms first. Is that Ancient of War. Now it's up. Yay. Pretty nice. Oh, my. Oh, my, indeed. Shall we throw down... Um, Animate dead as well? May as well. There we go. My work here is done. Undead imbalance. Rules. 4 versus 4 RT. Level 6 Death Knight. Level 4. So close to level 5 Lich. Close to level 5 Pit Lord. And then that's him done anyway. So he can't get any more. And then you've got... Yeah, what's it? Two, four, six frost worms. Four fiends basically 
You want to kind of keep some fiends. It's tempting to just go that full-on mass frostworms, and you can kind of get away with that in four versus four RT because it's lazy. But if you had the four fiends, that web is like think of how Im well. I love saying this word, but imbalanced raiders are for ensnare. If you're looking at like the top pro level games when you're dealing with orc, ensnare is pretty much a free kill, and that's kind of the way that. It web works. You pull like hippos and air units back that would be quite a big threat to your frostworms even though you've got a lot of them and you pull them back in then you have nova them when they're all bunched together because they're focusing like one frostworm generally and then your fiends basically sort of take away at least four units if you've got four fiends. That's four units nullified so that's four less hippogriffs hitting your frostworms and then you can pretty much easily deal with the rest. Makes you wonder huh? Just how imbalanced Undead is. Bit of a human imbalance there almost as well. Right, well I think I proved my point. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed these games and uh, for those that didn't understand up until this point why I've been sort of blaming Undead or sort of having a go at Undead a lot because when I'm doing my bizarre strategies it can be quite easily countered by undead just basically being what undead are which is just dk lich fiends frostworms that kind of standard stuff and it's just absolutely devastating and pretty much viable for versus almost anything that's why undead is so good their other units need a slight buff before versus 4rt and their fiends and frostworms need a slight nerf but obviously that affects one versus one, so we won't go down that road. We will just leave it as it is. Undead imbalance. Alright, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this, then please subscribe, like and comment, and thumbs up the video. It helps a lot. It even helps the undead imbalance grow even stronger, if that's possible. Anyway, see you later. Take care.